just like satellite navigation in, in, in other areas um, basically enabled applications that we couldn't imagine uh, before satellite navigation, for example, in, in cars, for aviation it will enable uh, a wealth of, uh, of applications. Um, it also enables you to do things that are currently not uh, possible or too labor intensive to do, like uh, a curved approach around a, uh, a mountain or a hill uh, to increase safety, or a curved approach to decrease noise for people uh, living around the airport. So for many years, aircraft have relied on a thing called the instrument landing system. The instrument landing system is a technology that essentially was invented in the 30s and 40s, put into widespread use in the subsequent decades. Uh, and essentially what it is, uh, is two beams of energy that come from antennas on the airport. So GBAS brings in a whole new way of doing precision approach. And instead of beams of energy, like an ILS, we send up digital data to the airplane. There's a benefit to that in that we don't need to have an ILS system with its elaborate antennas for each end of each runway. A single GBAS system can provide precision approaches to 26 different runway ends. Now there's not many airports that have that many runway ends. So you can actually now do different types of approaches to the same runway ends. Equipment on the ground for this new approach technology that we call GBAS consists of four GPS receivers, a 19-inch electronics rack with some sophisticated computers in it, and also VHF radios in it, and a VHF antenna. It's a very small complement of equipment, especially compared to ILS. And again, one of these systems provides up to 26 different approaches. So essentially, a precision approach to every runway end and multiple different kinds of approaches to those different runway ends. From a pilot's perspective, flying a GLS approach really isn't much different than flying an ILS approach. Its biggest benefits over the ILS are that an ILS is, can be affected by a truck or an airplane that taxis close to the antenna, which actually has an effect on, on moving the beam and thus moving the airplane when you're on the approach. The GLS approach is stable. It doesn't rely on the same type of uh, frequency transmitting that the ILS does and thus is not affected by those things.